Welcome to the Powerbox News Roundup for the latest HIPAA, security and healthcare marketing news. Let's look at this week's top stories. In June, CISA discovered a China-based hack of Microsoft had occurred. We're now learning that more than just emails may have been breached. Tampa General Hospital reported a data breach affecting 1.2 million people, and Rite Aid disclosed a breach affecting over 24,000 customers. Lastly, public companies face new cybersecurity disclosure rules from the SEC. Earlier in July, officials reported that Microsoft had been breached, resulting in threat actors accessing and exfiltrating unclassified data. According to NBC News, approximately 25 organizations had been hit by the attack, including the State Department and Commerce Department. The incident was linked to China, although it is publicly unknown if the hacker group is associated with the Chinese government. Initially, it was believed that only email accounts had been accessed, but according to the Washington Post, it's possible that the same technique used could have extended access to other parts of the Microsoft Cloud, including SharePoint, Teams, and OneDrive. The investigation is still ongoing, and according to former NSA analyst Jake Williams, the attack will be a nightmare scenario. According to NBC, it's rare for Chinese hackers to disrupt operations and the purpose is more likely for spying. And I'm not sure that's any comfort. Over in Florida, Tampa General Hospital said they experienced a cybersecurity event that affected approximately 1.2 million people. According to the hospital's investigation, the breach occurred mid-May but went unnoticed until May 31st when the IT department detected unusual activity. They believe the breach information included names, addresses, dates of birth, and social security numbers, as well as health insurance and medical record information. According to the hospital, the attackers intended to encrypt the data, a tactic used to demand a ransom. Luckily, the security systems utilized by Tampa General thwarted the would-be ransomware attack and prevented the attack from escalating. A spokesperson for TGH said they were grateful their security system prevented escalation, stating that an encryption would have significantly interrupted the hospital's ability to provide care for patients. In other breach news, Rite Aid, the drugstore chain, recently reported a data breach compromising the personal information of over 24,000 customers. Rite Aid was initially notified by a third-party vendor about the vulnerability in their software, which had been exploited by an unknown party. This breach resulted in access to sensitive customer information including names, dates of birth, prescription details and insurance information. Rite Aid has been transparent about the incident, posting a security incident notice on July 20th and sending out data breach notification letters to all individuals affected. The company has taken steps to address the issue including installing a software update that eliminated the vulnerability. The final news item this week is the Securities and Exchange Commission has adopted new rules requiring public companies to disclose significant cybersecurity incidents within four business days. This puts pressure on public companies to be more transparent with investors and take cybersecurity more seriously than they have in the past. The rules aim to protect investors by ensuring transparency and consistency in disclosing cybersecurity risks and incidents. But not everyone is a fan. Some have argued the new requirements could benefit hackers by providing detailed information on how companies manage cybersecurity risks. However, disclosure may be delayed if the US Attorney General determines that immediate disclosure would pose a substantial risk. I guess we'll see how it all shakes out. Now, let's talk about something other than hackers. Has your healthcare organization thought about their BYOD policies? That's bring your own device policies. BYOD allows healthcare staff to use their personal smartphones for secure communication, ensuring instant access to colleagues and patient data. But detailed policies are a must. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can learn more about implementing BYOD policies. I tried to end this video with a HIPAA joke, but it seems there's only one and it's confidential. That's it for now. See you next time. Cheers.